Now today I'm going to make a pineapple upside down cake. Really simple to do and the end results are wonderful. It looks delicious and it's really tasty so give it a go. So for making up this cake I just want to go through the ingredients we're going to use. Now for making up the cake mixture itself I've got 140 grams of softened butter so leave it at room temperature you know it just makes it easier to work. 140 grams of self-raising flour now I'm going to sift the flour. 100 grams of caster sugar three eggs, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Now teaspoons are small ones for your cups of tea, so one and a half teaspoon of that. One teaspoon or a little bit more of vanilla extract. And also we're gonna add the syrup, a little bit of the syrup from the cans of you know pineapple. So we're gonna use three tablespoons, that's the big spoon of the syrup. So that all goes in and makes up your cake mixture. Now, then we've got the bottom of the cake, which obviously is going to become the top of the cake. Now for that, I'm going to use 70 grams of dark muscovado sugar. Now if you haven't got dark, you could use a light brown sugar. And then the same amount, 70 grams of softened butter. Now the pineapple, I've got a couple of cans there, small ones. Probably going to use about six, maybe seven pineapple rings. And as I say, keep a little bit of the syrup to go in the cake mixture. Now, glazed cherries, because what we're going to do is take those cherries out, just pop them inside the little ring in the pineapple. And finally, we're going to just top it up a little bit of freshly ground nutmeg. So there's all the ingredients for making a cake. So what I'm going to do is get myself a bowl and start making up the cake mixture. So I'm just going to start mixing up this cake mixture. Now I am going to use an electric whisk. You could do it by hand, but obviously, you know, if you've got an electric one, it keeps your life easy. Put the butter in there, and along with that, cast the sugar. And I'm just going to quickly whisk it, get it going, get the two mixed. That's it. Now I think what I'll do is start adding the eggs. Now I'll add the eggs one at a time. And when you've got the first one incorporated, you can get over the next one. So just add one of those in. And the last one. And then we've got that syrup. So I've got three tablespoons. That pineapple syrup. Vanilla extract. Now I'm just going to stop a minute because I want to put the flour in there. But I want to sieve it. So I just get myself a sieve. Just pop that on there. And I might as well put the baking powder in there as well. And then what we'll do is just tap that. Do it from a little height, and then you get a bit of air in there. Put that all in. And then give it a final whisk. There you go. That didn't take long. So now I've got the cake mixture all done, just going to move that bowl aside. And again, bring myself another little bowl, because we're going to mix up the muscovado sugar. along with that butter. Now, I'll probably just do this by hand, this one. So, you know, just get a wooden spoon or whatever you've got. Just squash it together until it's a sort of buttery, sugary paste. So now I've got that into a paste, what I'm gonna do is grab myself a cake tin and we're gonna start assembling this pineapple upside down cake. Now I've got my cake tin and I've got a little baking tray underneath just in case there's any leakage. Now with the baking tin I've got a fair size one because we're trying to make a fairly wide cake, not necessarily that deep but wide because you want to put those pineapple rings and cherries on there, make it look good. Now what I'm going to do is start off with just a little bit of butter, just gonna try and get a little bit around the edges. Now also we've got this muscovado paste sort of with the sugar all mixed up so I'm just going to start by getting that all out and again what you want to do is just try and squash that 
all round the edges like that. And next of all, just bring over the pineapple. Start with one in the middle. And we're just going to put those around like that. So there you go, I've got seven now. I don't think we can squeeze another one in, but that's all right. And the cherries. I'll just put like a whole cherry in each. You'll probably put two if you want. There you go. Now, get myself a little bit of nutmeg. I mean, ideally, if you've got fresh nutmeg, like the whole nut and use a bit of fresh to make it really nice. Yeah, that'd be enough. Then of course we've got this lovely cake mixture. So what you want to try and do is spread it over evenly-ish and then smooth it out and that's ready to go in the oven. Then what we can do is just grab that. Just give it a little shake. Like that. Now with the oven, mine's just come up to being preheated so I'm going to place the cake in the oven. Now what you want to do is cook for about 35 to 40 minutes, temperature wise, 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, gas mark four. Now I've been cooking that upside down cake for 35 minutes. So let's just pull this out a little bit. Oh, look at that, lovely. And you see there's a little bit of leakage, that's why you want to have a baking tray, because you don't want to make a mess in your oven. Now I've got myself a knife, I'm just gonna Stab the cake mixture. It doesn't matter because this is the bottom of the cake, so it doesn't even matter if it don't look that great, but this looks pretty clean to me. Just dabbed it five or six times, looks pretty clean. So I'm gonna pull that out. Now I've waited about five minutes and I think it's cooled down enough that I can handle it, so you know make sure it's not too hot. Now with this spring side thing, just kind of kind of wiggle it because we obviously need to get that off there. Oh, the bottom's pretty hot, so do be careful. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's hot. I might just leave that another few minutes. Now, this time, I've come equipped with a little bit of tissue, just to make sure, because obviously there is a bit of liquid at the bottom there, and it's still pretty hot, actually. Now, I'm just gonna kind of Take that out first of all, keep hold of the cake, that's the important thing, and use a bit of tissue if you need to, like I have, because otherwise it can get really hot and burn your hand, you drop the whole thing. Put a plate over the top, quick flip, and then what we can do is just take the base off. So let's move this back, just gently pull that off. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks absolutely delectable. Ooh. Now with the cake, I'm just gonna take a slice out of that. Now, let's get a really good slice. So I've got one piece of pineapple maybe, how about that? Look, that is a good slice. And let's pop that on to a plate. Oh, I'm just gonna use this here. Mm. Look at that, look at that. That looks absolutely delish. Now let's pop that on the plate. So that's what I'm gonna have, and look at that cake mixture, it's really moist, looks beautiful. You can't go wrong. Now I'm just gonna try that. Oh, let's start this little bit first of all. Just back here, look at that. Hmm. Oh. That cake mixture looks delicious. Got a bit of pineapple on top. And we haven't even got any cherry yet. Let me try this. Mmm. The pineapple, when you have it with the cake and you chew on it, you get all the juice comes out. Oh, it's wonderful. It's, it's so moist. It's beautiful. Now I am going to attack this a little bit because I do want a piece with a bit of cherry. Oh, that's a nice big bit. Look at that. Oh, oh. lost me cherry there. Anyway, long time ago. Mmm. I'll tell you, 
go and make this. It's one of the most moist cakes I've tasted. It's absolutely delicious. And don't forget, you know, you've got that baking tray that you captured all those juices. There's no reason you couldn't pour that over the top. You know, add it, oh, lovely, and a bit of honest cream, or just have it with a cup of tea. You can have that cake any time. It's a pudding, it's a little snack with your cup of tea, wonderful. Thanks for watching my videos. I'll see you on the next one, The Original Naked Chef.